All harnesses should be properly inspected and logged prior to use. It is recommended that a qualified assistant assist the diver while donning the harness with bailout system. Refer to your operations and maintenance manual for pre-donning checks before donning the Miller Diving Easy Lift. To begin donning, slip the harness over the arms and onto the shoulders. Make sure all straps are not tangled. Shoulder Strap Adjustment Buckles Perform a preliminary adjustment by pulling down on the shoulder strap. Ensure that the adjustment buckles are resting at the pectoral muscles. Waist Adjustment Buckle Feed the end of the strap into the adjustment buckle, then bend around the floating lock and back into the adjustment buckle. Double back into the keeper for streamlining the free end. Leg Loop Height Adjusters The height of the leg webbing should be adjusted to midway on the thigh. Simply undo the webbing from the leg loop height adjuster. Once correct height is made, lock the adjustment in place by re-threading the end of the webbing back into the buckle. Repeat these steps for the opposite leg. Leg Loop Adjuster Make sure the strap is not twisted by visually confirming the black strap is facing away from the leg. Leg loop adjustment should move naturally. Test this by advancing or pulling the webbing through the loop adjuster. Ensure that the loop adjuster is mated properly and locked into the fixed catch after adjustments. Repeat these steps for the opposite leg. Make your final shoulder strap adjustment so the adjustment buckles are resting at the pectoral muscles and far below the shoulders. Chest Strap Adjustment Buckle Tighten the chest strap so there's no slack once it's secured. The chest strap is recommended as it assists in maintaining the correct fit regardless of orientation of the diver. Test the overall fit with a simple squat. Harness should be comfortable and secure. Extraction Bridle Hookup Red Main Lift Strap Yellow Lift Straps Double Safety Snap Hooks and Helmet Net All three safety snap hooks require pressure to be applied on both leading edges to be activated. For transport or extraction, the tender should first hook up the main lift strap to the main lift ring. It is important that the hook opening faces away from the diver's helmet. Next, the tender or rescue diver should make sure the umbilical is leading outside of the yellow lift straps when connecting to the leg lift rings. Hook orientation is not critical and the opening of the hooks can either face away or toward the diver for a correct lift. Once the lift begins, the head net should be guided into place to capture the front of the helmet. <laughs>